Well, hello, I'm Wendy Rose Williams, and I am a past life energy healer, and I have the spiritual gift of helping people release pain, anxiety, depression, or just feeling stuck, like you cannot get life out of second gear. And when we're able to release this energy that doesn't serve us, oh my goodness, what a difference. We can just feel so much happier, healthier, and that our life has a beautiful purpose and we can enjoy living it. So I'm here to talk with you today about angel numbers or repeating numbers. Many people notice repeating numbers around them. It might not be um, on the just on the clock or on your computer, on your on your watch, wherever you're seeing numbers. It could be your microwave number, uh, license plates can be anywhere. But when you are seeing repeating numbers, uh, I consider those angel numbers and that they have wonderful information to share with us. So tell you, um, give you some more information about that. And they don't have to be repeating um, in the sense of it's like one, 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 one. Uh, it can just be any number that you notice again and again and again. Some people consider it, you know, their, their lucky number or something like that. You might see them on cash register receipts. You can just see them so many different places, your odometer, anywhere you see numbers. And my belief is those are letting us know that we're on the right track. Um, they're sharing information with us. And I do see them uh, personally as angel numbers, the divine trying to help us, trying to uplift us, trying to share some information with us. So if you see those numbers repeating, maybe you do notice a 111 a lot or 444 or whatever it might be, or just 4433 whatever it might be, it can be useful um, if you don't know what it means and just can't intuitively uh, figure that out or can't figure that out via meditation or by connecting with your, your own guides, et cetera. Um, you can Google the number and simply Google whatever number you keep seeing as a repeating number as an angel number. So for instance, Google angel number 444. I like Joanne Sacred Scribe, just as an example. So you can Google it uh, directly that way. Uh, Joanne Sacred Scribe, angel number, and then put in the number and just read through it. See if it resonates for you. See if there's something helpful for you there. Uh, because often the angels, the divine, higher self guides, uh, God, whoever whoever you believe in and, and work with or are beginning to uh, work with ascended masters, they can be just trying to get our attention that way. And that's why they're sending uh, that repeating number. So it's great when you notice it. Then the second step is to make sense of it. You may also notice uh, numbers like this when you wake up at night. If you wake up in the middle of the night suddenly, maybe you have to go to the bathroom, maybe you don't. <laughs> but if you're just suddenly waking up, pay attention to the time. If you still have an old-fashioned digital clock, very easy. Or maybe you need to just touch your phone and see what time it is. And just make a mental note of that number and Google it uh, for yourself in the morning and see if there's a hopeful message there for, from your guides. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, and I hope that is helpful and fun um, and uplifting uh, to know how to start to work with that information, because it can be really, really useful. So thank you so much, and I will also uh, share my website with you. You're so welcome to join me for an event or to work together privately. So I will link my website, which is wendyrosewilliams.com. See you next time. Bye for now.